advertising meant anything for them. Universal. Active gaining positions for race uh, number one, the 250 solos. Just wanting for the last rider to come over onto this far side of the track for race number one, 250cc solo action takes flight. Way off on the first race today, Holland Cup making a good start. Ricky Scarborough, Ashley Hill in four, Lewis Scarborough in five, Jack Nelson in six, that's the top six, they go in the back straight. For the first time, it's Harlan Cook who leads it. Doesn't race too much on the 250s these days. But he's in the front of this first into the 250s. From Ricky Scarborough holding that second place. Clara Coates has got the third. Hill in four, Scarborough in five. Nelson in six, that's the top six. That's Cook leads completely over there. Scarborough holding second, Clara Coates in third. Hill coming under pressure for Lewis Scarborough. Lewis Scarborough goes through on the inside and moves in the fourth place. Ashley Hill again back round the outside. Jack Nelson taking much closer order back in sixth place. As Lewis Scarborough now goes into position number four. Cook leads it then from Ricky Scarborough holding up. Lewis Scarborough is in third. Ashley Hill in five. Hunt in six. That's the top six. They race down the back straight once again. Cook well in front. Ricky Scarborough having a good ride in second place. They're bunching up for third, fourth and fifth. And Lewis Scarborough makes a mistake and drops back two places. Hill's gone through and Nelson has followed him through as Cook leads him on the last stop then. But Ricky Scarborough's still holding that second place position. Clericos has gone third. Ashley Hill and Nelson shoulder to shoulder for fourth and fifth. Lewis Scarborough trying to get back through on the inside. Back marker comes into play on the entrance of that top corner. It's still on the inside again. Nelson trying to get back round the outside lines. They race into that top corner then for the final time. And Ricky Scarborough's got problems. He's lost his second place. And Harlan Cook gets the winning right. Clara Coach is coming to the second. Ricky Scarborough comes racing. Clara Coach in second. Scarborough third. Hill four. Scarborough five. Nelson six. Humphers in second. Seven. And Lingham in eighth place. Super way to start the day, they first heat of the 250s, won by number 7, Harlan Cook. Second, number 94, Trevor Clary Coates. And third, number 14, Ricky Scarborough. 74, 79, 33, 205, 77, and 18. Right, on we go into race number 2. Put in number 37, Tim Neal, delete 131, 337 and 89. Goes with a clean break, and it looks like Chris Mackett has made a good start. Dave Lambert to run the top with him. Mackett leads to Lambert in second. Barley is in third. Neil is in four. That's the four then going into that top corner for the first time. Mackett with a slight advantage over Barley. A couple of bikes behind. They go up the back straight then for the first time. Lambert back in third. And Tim Neal has got machine problems. Well, back in fourth place. We look at the top three again. Entering that pitch corner on lap number one. Mackett is the leading. Slides slightly wide. Barley looking to the right. On the inside, Lambert has got the third, Neil's come to a stop halfway up that back straight, so just left with the three runners, they go up the back straight once again, Chris Mackett the leader, and Lee Barley again trying to close the gap, Mackett looks behind him, he's got a three bike advantage there over Barley in second, these two getting away from Lambert who's got the third place position, coming on the complete lap number two, Mackett still has the advantage, they get the same between first and second, they're getting away from Dave Lambert who holds that third place position, Barley again gets close on the entry of the corner, but Mack has got a very quick line on the exit from that top corner. He leads going up the back straight on lap number three. Barley holds second, it's Lambert in third, about equal distance between the three now. As they come through to start, lap four this time then. Chris Mackett, he controls the third seat of the three seventy five. Takes a long lot behind him to see Barley holding that second place. Lambert has got the third. As they go up the back straight on lap number four then. Chris Mackett rode yesterday and rode very well again yesterday. He's in top form again today. He leads his first heat of pre-75 action. Into the pitch corner he goes for the final time. And it's Chris Mackett who leads race number two. Second is Lee Barley. Third place, Dave Lambert. 
Race two result men win for number 68, Chris Mackett. Second number five, Lee Barley. And third, number 127, Dave Lambert. Rod Winderburn, Rob Wilson, John Thorpe, Paul Standing, Lester Page and John Stafford with James Laurie in the chair, the change of passenger there for John Stafford. Certainly Rob Wilson will be looking for a change of luck this year. He blew an engine at High Easter. He threaded two back tyres at Wainfleet and blew an en another engine at Midshires last week. So the former Masters champion looking for a change of luck this afternoon. out there we are expecting six for this um, opening race but uh, so we've got five crew so looking right across then to that far side of the track Rob Wilson on the inside Rob went in the middle of the grid then John Thorpe next to him John uh, John Thorpe run on the outside, John Stafford it is who's next to Ron Winderburn's a fine cruise line up there for the first hit of the inside car action. Takes for up and on the good stop. Ron Wilson gets away. Ron Winderburn's a crew that's gone with him. And it's Winderburn who leads down the back straight then for the first time. Wilson off pursuit in second place. These two already building a lead over Lester Page. John Stafford in four. John Thorpe in five. So it's standings. The crew that have not come out. Then it's Rob Winderburn leading him. Rob Wilson all in second. Page has got the third. Stafford in four. Thorpe in five. That's the five as they go in the back straight then. On lap number two. It's Rob Winderburn starting to build himself quite a big lead. The front double Rob Wilson holding that second place position is still Page who's got the third Stafford in four Thorpe in five completing that one then Rock Winterburn Liam Brown now clear of Rock Wilson Terry Saunders in second it's Lester Page Page of Sutherland who've got the third John Stafford and James Laurie have got the fourth place and John Thorpe and Hawley in position number five. They start the spread now Winterburn's increased the lead with every turn of the wheels. They go into that top corner on lap number three. Last that flag be made ready. Rob Winterburn cleared the front. Rob Wilson holding that second place. Lester Page in third. John Stafford in four. John Thorpe in five. That's the order down the back straight and for the final time in the first heat of big chair action. It's Winderburn and Leeds from Wilson second. Lester Page consolidating that third and John Stafford lost his fourth place. But he's back round the exit of John Thorpe as Rob Winderburn gets the winning ride. Second place is Rob Wilson. Third place Lester Page. Good scrap on for fourth and fifth. And it's John Thorpe coming again at John Stafford. John Stafford just hanging on to fourth. John Thorpe in fifth place. Result of race number three, you win for number 48, Rod Winterburn, Liam Brown. Second number 24, Rob Wilson, Terry Saunters, and third number 52, Lester Page, Fraser Sutherland. 81, 362. On we go to race number four, another heat of the big chairs. We've got six coming out this time, full contingent of uh, chairs and for race number four, the second leg of the big chairs, Shane Lingwood, Robbie Wilson, former Masters champion, Colin Blackburn in top form at the moment, Pete Corbin, Frank Dean and Julian Meekins. That's the six crews and for race number two, big chair action. Making a good start, but there goes Colin Blackbond through on the inside. Robbie Wilson followed in through. Pete Corbin tucks into that third place position as they go to the back straight for the first time and entering that top corner. Colin Blackbond just stolen the march to the front. He goes wide. Robbie Wilson takes a much tighter line. Pete Corbin holds that third place. It's Julian Meek is in position number four. That's the top four. They're racing the back straight. We've lost one. One of the crews quite away back at the back. 
as they race back in one of the back crew number 55 as Colin Blackburn leads going into that top corner again Robbie Wilson closes the gap on the entry of the corner but Colin Blackburn very quick on the exit for that top turn Blackburn leads them but Wilson holding second Colin Meekins is in four Lingwood in five Dean in six that's a six as they go down the back straight once again it's still Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh there clear the front for Robbie Wilson and Bradley Steer again Robbie Wilson gets close on the entry to the corner but Blackburn's got a fine line coming out of that corner Rob, Robbie Wilson takes a much tighter line close again Colin Blackburn Blackburn's going to come into play as they go down the back straight once again Blackburn leads from Wilson second Colvin has got the third Meek is in position number four Colin Blackburn goes through on the inside of the back marker Robbie Wilson I think picking his way through is he going to go inside is he going to go out so he's coming through on the inside of the back marker there still holds his second place as Blackburn takes each other flank second is Robbie Wilson third is Pete Colvin fourth place goes to Julian Meek in five Shane Lingwood six places Frank Dean Result then of race number four, the win for number 25, Colin Blackburn, Carl Pugh. Second number 42, Robbie Wilson, Bradley Steer. And third number 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. 311, 174, and 55. And we go then to race five, first hit of the 350s, delete 115. Put in 171, Andrew Whitaker, and number 17, Lawrence Barber. Michael Faulkner is in second at three abreast the second place Andrew Whitaker takes a big sweep round the outside goes through from fourth the second place as Smith is stolen a master front then Whitaker holds second Faulkner's got the third Barber in four super ride by Andrew Whitaker on that first corner saw him pick off two rods in the chase of Richard Smith now as they complete that one Smith leads it then but Whitaker holding second Faulkner's got the third Barber is in position number four as the former British champion leads going up that back straight once again Whitaker in hot pursuit close the gap slightly but having said that Richard Smith very quick going into that bits corner Smith leads in but Whitaker old in second Faulkner's got the third Barbara's in position of the four number one two Whitaker hold that second Faulkner in third Barbara four equal distance between the four now they go up the back straight once again Richard Smith takes a quick look over his shoulder, got a good lead over Andrew Whittaker, good to see Andrew Whittaker back racing with us, he didn't do too much last year and it's great to see him back as uh, Richard Smith leads him on to that corner, Whittaker holding that second place, there's a fault in that, Barber's getting a little bit closer to fault in that race for third and fourth places, as Smith leads coming up the back straight and one more time. Slight willy there from Richard Smith, halfway up that back straight, still Whitaker holds second, Faulkner third, Barber four, coming off that pits corner, first one of the three pits goes to Richard Smith, second place under Whitaker, going to be tight for third and four, because Lawrence Barber's getting very close to Michael Faulkner, that race for third and four places, Faulkner goes wide, a chance for Barber to get through on the inside, but it's Faulkner gets a third, Barber in fourth place. Race 5 result, win for number 33, Richard Smith. Second, number 171, Andrew Whitaker. And third, number 144, Michael Faulkner. Fourth, number 33. Race 6, delete 174. And it's John Barney who is riding number 77, not John Underwood. Everybody's going to change safety by the coming line and making a good start. 
run, they come by, it's the first time Graham Brown goes through in his second break, Brown in fact, it's the front barn, it's gone wide, Wayne Barrett screws it on round the outside of that top corner, Wayne Barrett with a lot to do, haven't made a dreadful start, he's up in the third place at the moment then, it's Graham Brown leads, there goes Wayne Barrett winding it on round the outside of that pitch corner, gets round Barney to go through in second, comes alongside Graham Brown, he's going to have a good race there with Brown leads, but Barrett in second, Barney is in third, man, he's in four, Meek is in five, Lion is six, Fenner in seven, that's a top seven this time, Wayne Barrett does go round the outs of Graham Brown and leads going up the back for a lap number two, change of position for third and fourth as well, about to take place as Tim Mount goes through into that third place position, but Wayne Barrett screws it on round the outside of that pitch corner, he's the leader then, Brown holding that second place, Mount's up to third, Barney in four, Meek is in five, Lion is six, Fenner seven, Barley in eight, Joyce in nine, that's a top nine, as they race down the back straight once again, Wayne Barrett starting to get away at the front, he's pulling away from Graham Brown now, Brown again very quick on the entry to that pitch corner as Wayne Barrett leads him on to four then from Graham Brown holding that second place. Then Wayne has got the third, Tom Meek is trying to squeeze through on the inside and makes that third place. Barley drops back to five, Wayne is six, ten is seven, Barley eight, Joyce in nine, that's the nine as we see Wayne Barrett up the back straight and for the peloton again. Brett Graham Brown's very quick on the entry to that pitch corner. The gap's down to about two by Glenn Barrett's gone wide. Brown comes for the inside but in fact drifts it off the line. That's the winning line. Brown comes across the line in second, tied for third and fourth. Then Brown, Justin, Tom Meekin, then Barry Lyman, then Lee Barley, then Arnie Fenner, then John Barney, and finally Barry Joyce. Super action, the first heat of the John Underwood Trophy, a win for number 23, Wayne Barrett. Second, number 122, Graham Brown, and third, number 17, Tim Mount. 10, 2, 4, 6, 5, 37, 32, sorry, 32, can't read me on writing, 32, and 77, in fact it's Ian Barney, Ian Barney, not John Barney, and ninth place with number 57. Right, next seat of the John Underwood, the lead from Dolphin, putting one, four, three, Mike Scarling, number six, Ben Collins, are up and running then for the seat, number 21, that's not far, well, I hope they manage to come by the first time, but there goes Steve Dorr, giving a big hand for around the outside of that top corner, Ryan on the inside, Steve Dorr comes alongside him as they go up the back straight for the first time, it's Ryan who leads, he's a bike up on Dorr now, as they move into that pitch corner, Ryan holding the inside, Dorr again, full throttle around the outside of that pitch corner, has he got round Scott Ryan, yes he has, it's Steve Dorr, and Andrew Gone has gone through into third place. That's a top three as he race up the back straight once again then it's Dorr who leads him from Ryan in second Gom has got that third place he's now coming under pressure from Fred Crystal looking to improve upon that fourth place that's the top four Dorr is really leader then from Ryan Hall in second Gom has got the third Crystal is in fourth in third on the side Mike is in position of the six Ben Collins is number seven that's the order Steve Dorr really wide on the exit spectacular wheelie going up that back straight from Steve Dorr front wheel right up in front of his face Throws it into that corner up for a moment as if he'd lost it there, but just hangs on. Leads him on the fall then for Ryan holding second. Ryan looks behind him to see if he's still gone holding that third. Crystal is in four, Kurnock in five, Scaldy in six, Collins in seven. Steve Dora a spectacular wheelie again, halfway up that back straight. Throws it into that fifth corner. Holds the line, rides the mid truck position. Steve Dora, Steve Dora Tackler win there in race number seven. Scott Ryan picks up the second place position. Third is going to be Andrew Gone. Four, Fred Crystal. Five, Mike Scalding. Lost to right, Tim Kurnock. We've lost him on that last lap, so it's going to be Ben Collins to come across the line with Tim Kurnock pulling out on that last lap. Race number seven result to win for 1 1 0, Steve Dorr. Second number 21, Scott Ryan. And third, 261, Andrew Gomm. 111, 143, and number six. Race eight to one late change, delete number 721, Sam Bradley Smith, Adam Filmer's number 24.
on the line, red flags are waving, we've got a bit of a problem before the start of the first heat of the uh, 500 solos, race number 8. Action. The red flag changes to a green flag. We're ready for the first heat of the 500 solo action. Oh, it moves away. A lot of things. Everybody gets away. And the Danny Boys made a good start from the Oh, it comes as well, Alan P's up the top four. Alan P's exhaust hanging off his bike there as he came by us for the first time. Up the back straight they go, three new buns going up the back straight and Filmers. It's Danny Boyle who leads in from Holland Cook holding second. Adam Filmer, the one time race that in there relegated to third place, but nothing must have been a top three. Cook in second, Filmer's got the third ball on the inside, Cook's over the line around the outside of that top corner. Two bikes between these two as they go up the back straight once again then. It's Boyle leads, but here comes Cook with a big move through on the inside, roars inside Danny Ball to lead going into that pitch corner, Boyle up return the compliment by coming back through on the inside. It's Boyle over the shoulder, Filmer using every inch of track into a tremendous race to the front, Danny Ball on the inside, Harlan Cook again going right round the outside, comes back for the inside, will be lost in movement there, he's back at Danny Ball again now as they go in that pitch corner once again, Ball leads him, and Cook in second, Filmer is in third place, spectacular 500 cc the last two moments, there's Boyle to them, but Cook in second, Filmer's got the third, that's the top three, and they're a long way further remain to the field, but slowly but surely Danny Boyle is building himself a lead to this race, the break, the first seat of the 500 solos, spectacular stuff, and Danny Boyle, he picks up the winning ride, Danny Boyle wins it, Arlen Cook gets the second place, Adam Filmer is in third, Long way back, looks like Jason Nuda's got that fourth place at the moment with uh, Alan Pease chased him down. As Alan went by us the first time, the silence was hanging off the bike. So Jason Nuda gets it and Pease has lost his silence and they're followed by French and finally Ben Leeds. Super action, race number eight. Race eight result to win for number 95, Danny Boyle. Second number seven, Harlan Cook. And third number 24, Adam Filmer. 112, 36, 99, and number 3. And we go then to the left-handers, race number 9. I say delete 1, 2, 5. So number 7 first to come in line, her involvement, and then... Uh, Number 22, Will Petfold in the line next to him. 130, Charlie Ridley right on the inside. Red flag is up because we do have a solo machine being pushed over on the far side. We just want to make sure it's in the same area before we release the chairs. and Penfold has got the third place to go up the back straight then for the first time and Penfold has stolen the march the front, Bowman's got that second place he's now coming under pressure for that second place they're bunching up the third and fourth as well 
but it is Penfold who's stolen the march at the front. That's Will Penfold and Adrian North. They run the beat the ball. Second place is Martin Cooper. He's got that third in look in that second place of Bowman. Ridley is in fourth place. That's the top four. And Ridley almost squeezed through on the inside of Cuff as they go up the back straight once again. Penfold's getting away at the front. Cuff's chasing after Bowman. That race for second and third. Entering that end pitch corner once again, then it's still Will Penfold and Adrian North have got the advantage over the ball. Second place, Martin Cooks on the third again, they're having a go at Bowman. Second place, they go into that top corner once again. Cuff winds on it, he got through on the inch of Bowman. Bowman's slowing right up there in third place. Cuff went through on the inch and Bowman's have hit trouble now. They were in a safe second place. Passengers hand in the air at the moment, they've dropped back to fifth place. As Penfold is a clear leader there, but Cuff holding that second place. Now Ridley has gone through into third. Four. Bowman coasting with a sick bike in five as they go up the back straight and for the four time it's Will Penfold, Adrian North, well cleared of Martin Cup and Steve North have got that second place position. Looking for the leader, exit in that pitch corner, winning the first heat of the left handers. It's Will Penfold, Adrian North, and Jeffrey winning line. Second, Martin Cup, Steve North. Third place is 130, Charlie Ridley, Harry McQuirk, and 292, Mr. Pack coming across the line with some smoke coming out of the machine. The Bowmans are still coasting round, obviously got some sort of problems. They held a safe second place, but uh, they've got it across the line to pick up fifth place points. Race 9 result then, the win for number 22, Will, Will Penfold, Adrian Knorr. Second, number 128, Martin Cook, Steve Knorr. And third, 130, Charlie Ridley, Harry McQuirk. 292, and number 7. Race 10, adding number 10, Frank Yates. Over that second, Frank Yates has gone for the third. Neil leads it then for Mackin in second. Yates has got the third. That's the top three up the back straight for the first time. Yates coming under pressure for that third place position as Tim Neal has stolen a march at the front. He still leads them for Mackin holding that second place position. Yates has got the third spot. That's the top three in this first in the classic two pitches. Neil is leading them. Mackin in second. Yates is in third. Rawlings is in fourth. That's the top four, equal just between these top fours, they make their way up the back straight once again, it's Tim Neal start the stump is authority on this first seat of this class, Chris Mackett consolidating that second, Frank Yates is winning that battle for third and four, they complete lap number two, back in second, a wide riding Frank Yates holds that third, rolling in fourth place, 197, Jim Birchall is in position number five and 21, Bernard Virtual is in position number six. That's the six. As they go up the back straight then. Neil well in control this first heat then. Mackett gets just a little bit closer on the entry to that pitch corner. Yates consolidating third. The race off develops the fourth and fifth places. As Neil leads him on the fourth. And Mackett safe in second place. Yates is on the third. Ball is in fourth. Virtual in five. And the other virtual in position number six. As the leader up the back straight and into that pitch corner on lap number four, that leader is number 37, Tim Neal, while well in control of the situation, the first is the classic 250s, and Neal gets the winning ride. Second place is Chris Mackey. Frank Yates is going to get the third. Rolling, rolling in fourth, and Jim Burchill in fifth place. Race 10 result to win for number 37, Tim Neal. Second number 68, Chris Mackett. And third number 10, Frank Yates. 69 and 197. And we go into the first heat of the 500 sidecars, delete number 10.
Jumping to the five on the side car. Up and running with his first heat. And Jumbo has spread a good start. And John's up and away. And Simon has gone with him. That's a two to watch. They go in that top corner the first time. Goodwin leads from Beard in second. Berwick's got the third. The race at the back straight. Then on lap number one. Racing into that top corner. And Josh Goodwin. Look at the speed of Josh Goodwin. Pat, and, and Simon Beard slowing up in second place. That's desperately bad luck on Simon Beard. Because he has been flying throughout this 2013 season he really has been a tremendous competitor but it's Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown there getting away the front they've been Dan Berwick holding that second place position Natasha Barkley's got the third desperately bad luck on Simon Beard machine problems were holding that second place but look at the speed of Josh Goodwin on the exit from that fifth point he feeds in a big lead over Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins holding second place Natasha Barkley Ricky Day have got that third spot Pretty well spread out now in the first heat of the 500s. Josh Goodwin clear going up the back straight. Look at the speed as he roars into that pitch corner, really winding it on round that pitch corner. Dan Berwick holds that second place position. Using every inch of track as he leads him on to fourth and Berwick holding the second bar. Back straight for the final time in the first heat of 500 sidecar action. It is Josh Goodwin, Liam Brown with, Brown with a length of a straight lead over Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins holding second. Natasha Barkley's got the third. Impressive stuff for Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown. They get the winning ride. Looking for the second place, that is going to be Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins, number 68. And third place, number nine, Natasha Barkley and Ricky Bay. So the result, a win for number three, Josh Goodwin, Liam Brown. Second, number 68, Dan Berwick, Mark Hopkins. And third, number nine, Natasha Barkett, Ricky Pay. Back to the start of the program then, race 12, second leg, 250 solos. on his shoulder now, Clara Coach is there with him, Scarborough's on the inside, Cook goes sweeping round the outside to lead, up the back straight on the opener, it's Scarborough who's got that second, Clara Coach in third, Lewis Scarborough in four, Ashley Hill in five, Jack Nelson in six, Humphreys in seven, that's the top seven, as they come on to complete the opening lap, then all they took the lead there, Scarborough looking behind him, he's coming on the third place, Lewis Scarborough in four, Ashley Hill in five, Jack Nelson in six, Humphreys in seven, Lingham in eight, as they see Harlan Cook up the back straight once again and again Ricky Scarborough anxiously looking behind him with Clary Coates is closing the gap there on the <coughs> second place rider Harlan Cook with a good lead then Ricky Scarborough holding second Clary Coates is going to third Lewis Scarborough is fourth Ashley Hill five Jack Nelson six Lingham's up to seven Humphrey's going to get to the eight and um, that's the top eight, then there's a race into that top corner once again. Harlan Cook coasting into that top corner. Again, Ricky Scarborough's coming under pressure for that second place from Trevor Clary Coates. And Cook leads him on to four then. Scarborough's on the second. Clary Coates in third. Lewis Scarborough in fourth. Ashley Hill five. Jack Nelson six. Again, they lap the back mark as they go up the back straight. All the time, Harlan Cook looking to make it two to two in the heats of the 250s. This time Ricky Scarborough looks if he's going to hang on to that second place position. Harlan Cook and he's going to get winning line. Second place is Ricky Scarborough. Third, Trevor Clary Coates. Fourth, Lewis Scarborough. Five, Ashley Hill. Six, Jack Nelson. Seventh, Ross Lingham. And eighth place, Andy Humphreys. Race 12 result to win for number 7, Harlan Cook. Second number 14, Ricky Scarborough. And third number 94, Trevor Clary Coates. 79, 74, 33, 77, 205, and 18. Of course, Megan Holt be the addition to the heat. Right, we move on then to uh, race 
Number 13, delete 1313789, put in number 37, Tim Neal. Call from the clerk of the course, can we have the riders get into the pit boxes quicker for the races please, we need to keep pressing on, thank you, as the other races going round, can you please assemble in the pit box for your race, thank you. Race number 13, second leg of the pre-75, just back in the lead ball, he got away, Dave Lambert is in in third place, no Tim Neal this time, he won it the first time, he's not come out this time, and Chris Mackett's gone round the edge of Lee Barley to lead, going up the back straight the first time, Mackett leads from Barley in second, Lambert has got the third place position, that's a three in the second heat of the pre-75 action. Close the gap slightly up on Chris Macker there. Lambert has got the third place. Point between first and second. They go in that top corner once again. Back Mackett leads from Barley in second. These two getting away from Lambert who's got the third place position. We'll watch this pits corner again because this is where Lee Barley got very close to Chris Mackett on the previous lap. But Mackett this time holds a much tighter line. He knew exactly where Barley was going to try and come and block the move. So Mackett leads from Barley in second. Lambert has got the third spot. Up the back straight they go once again. The order the same. The gap between the rollers is virtually the same. As they're halfway up that back straight on lap number three. Chris Mackett looking for his first heat win of the afternoon in this class. And he's gone wide again. Barley takes a much time to line. But can see the close the gap on the leader. But Mackett leads him on to four. Barley holds a safe second. Lambert in third place. They go up the back straight for the final time then. Mackett pulling slightly away from Barley in that race for first and second places. Still Lambert has got the third spot. Coming off that uh, pitch corner. Chris Mackett's going to get the winning ride. Second place goes to Lee Barley. Third place it's Dave Lambert. Race 13 result to win for number 68, Chris Mackett. Second number 5, Lee Barley. And third, 127, Dave Lambert. And we go to race 14, back on with the big chairs. James Laurie is the passenger for John Stafford. We go then to the seat of the big chairs and we've got uh, Rob Winderburn, one of first time out, Julian Meek, John Thorpe, Pete Coleman, he put up a third place in his first out, Pete Fandy and John Stafford, that's the six crews and four, race number 14. Corbin's a crew that's gone with it. Looks like John Stafford has tucked into that third place. And John Stafford making a move around the outside of Pete Corbin. They go into that top corner. Stafford's gone round the outside. But he's gone too wide. And Pete Corbin's gone back through on the inside. As Winterburn leads him. And Corbin in second. Stafford has got the third. Minkins is in fourth place. Racing up the back straight once again then. Rod Winderburn starting to get away at the front. He's building himself a good lead in this second heat of the big chairs. It's still Pete Corbin holding that second place vision. It's uh, John Stafford who's got the third spot. Winderburn leads can put in two. And then Corbin holding second. Stafford has got the third. Meekins is in fourth, fourth in five. That's the five. The leading two start to get away. Good scrap developing for the minor places. As Rod Winderburn, Liam Brown looking to make it two to two in the heats of the big chairs. They're clear on to lap number four then. Steve Corbin holds that second place. John Stafford and James. James Laurie having a good run in third. Julian Meekins and Waterville get a little bit close in fourth. John Thorpe being all these in five. 
as Rod Winderburn the length of the straight clear now as he roars into that top corner for the final time the former Masters champion wins race number 14 second place goes to Pete and Steve Corwin third place John Stafford, James Laurie fourth Julian Meek is Glenn Waterfield fifth John Thorpe, Ian Hawley race 14 result to win for number 48 Rod Winterburn, Liam Brown Second, number 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. And third, number 81, John Stafford, James Laurie. 3-1-1 and 3-6-2. So on we go then to race 15. Should be interesting indeed. Robbie Wilson, good second place, first time out. Colin Blackburn, impressive winner, first time out. Rob Wilson got a second place in his first outing. Lester Page got a third in his first outing. Be interesting. Number 118 come out for this time. We're looking to see how many crews are coming. Just the five crews again, so it looks as if... Uh Race number 15 of the heat on big chairs. Action, some quick crews in action. Again this time, Colin Blackburn right on the middle of the grid. Ling was one on the inside. So they settle then for the heat on big chair action. Sada walks away up by the chase. Colin Blackburn made a good start. Let's throw Rob Wilson, the crew that's gone with him. Robbie Wilson, it's, it's Robbie Wilson, in fact, has gone with him. Rob Wilson back in third, and it's Robbie Wilson leads in that top corner for the first time. Colin Black on the inside, Rob Wilson making a move around the outside. But it's Robbie Wilson leads from Colin Black on second. Rob Wilson in third, that's the page in four, Lingwood in five, they're moving that pitch corner once again. Robbie Wilson leads from Colin Black on hole in second place, and Colin Black on chasing after him now as they go down the back straight once again. They're starting to get away from Rob Wilson, but having said that, Wilson makes a big effort on the entry to that top corner. Robbie Wilson holds the inside line, Colin Blackburn forced to go down the end. Wilson leads from Blackburn in second, Wilson's got the third, Page in four, Lingwood in five, up to five, and Colin Blackburn almost gets thrown into Robbie Wilson, these two locked together, going down the back straight, super ride there by Colin Blackburn, it's gone through on the inch of Robbie Wilson, and Rob Wilson trying to follow him through as Colin Blackburn leads, he's gone wide, Robbie Wilson comes back up the inside, Colin Blackburn leads, Wilson second, Rob Wilson's got the third, that's to Page in four, Shane Lingwood in five as they go to the back straight once again and very impressive life and Colin Blackburn has come through from third place to lead this heat off the big chairs. He's clear there with Carl Pugh in the chair at that top corner for the final time. Impressive stuff from Colin Blackburn getting the winning ride. Second place is Robbie Wilson. Third is Rob Wilson. Fourth is Lester Page. Five, Shane Lingwood. Super sidecar action, race number 15, impressively won by crew number 25, Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh. Second number 42, Robbie Wilson, Bradley Steer. And third, number 24, Rob Wilson, Terry Saunders. 52 and 174. Race 16, second leg 350s, delete 115, put in 171, Andrew Whittaker. And number 17, Lawrence Barber. Michael Falk in third, Lawrence Barber in fourth, but it's Smith who's still on the march. They go in that top corner for the first time. Andrew Whittaker winds it on the exit of the corner. But it's Smith who leads in for Whittaker holding second. Falk has got the third. Barber in position number four. As they race into that pitch corner once again, Richard Smith holds the mid back straight they go once again then it's Smith who leads being chased once again by Andrew Whitaker as he did in the first team these two getting away from Michael Faulkner in third and Lawrence Barber holding that fourth place position coming on to complete that lap then Smith who leads and Andrew Whitaker holding second Faulkner's got the third Barber in fourth 
back straight they go in for the final time. Richard Smith looking pretty impressive here this afternoon. The heats of the 350 solos. So Whitaker holds that second. They're getting a long, long way clear of Fault Rimbardo. We've got the third and fourth position. The Smith leads them on the last time. In that second, Bomber just getting a little bit closer to Fulton that race for third in fourth places. On that leader is Richard Smith, while in control this second heat of the 350 solos. Impressive stuff again there for Richard Smith. He gets the winning ride. Second place goes to Andrew Whitaker. Looking back, still that scrap went on the third and fourth. Again, Lawrence Barber having a go at Michael Fulton for that third place position, but Michael Fulton gets the third. Lawrence Barber in fourth place. Race 16 resolved to win for number 33, Richard Smith. Second, number 171, Andrew Whittaker. And third, number 144, Michael Faulkner. Fourth, number 17. Race 17, number 77 is Ian Barney, and adding number 6, Ben Collins. Second line is in third, that's the top three. As a race at the back straight, Gom has gone through into position number four. Now goes through into that third place. A race at the back straight on the opener then. It's Brown who leads going in. Ryan holds that second place position. Going into the pitch corner on the opening that pitch. Brown, Brown, Lee Van again. The top line holds that second. Gom has gone the third with Barney in fourth. Kurdoff is in five and in six. Scalding in seven, Collins in eight, that's the eight, they go up the back straight once again, top two again, starting to get away then, it's Graham Brown being chased by Scott Rhymes, they move in that top corner, one, pits corner once again, Ian Barney trying to get the better of that race for third place, and here comes Tim Kernel with a challenge up into fourth place, it's Brown leads him for Ryan in second, Gom has got machine, Gom will hold in third place, and Kurnoff goes around the edge of Barney to go to the third. Barney will again to four. Golding is in five. Winkford in six. Collins in seven. As Graham Brown still leads into that pits corner on lap number three of this heat of the upright solo. Scott Ryan again trying to find a race. But Brown holds him at bay. But Ryan still holding second. Kurnoff has got the third. Barney is in four. Golding in five. Winkford in five. Collins in seven, the leader up the back straight on lap number four. Brown's going to pick up the heat win in this leg of the John Underwood Trophy meeting. Exit in that pits corner for the final time. It's Graham Brown again. Right. Scott Ryan gets the second place position. Tim Kernock is now coming through into third place. Mike Scalding in four. Winfield in six and Collins in seventh place. Race 17 result to win for number 122, Graham Brown. Second number 21, Scott Ryan. And third, 726, Tim Kernock. 143, 77, 25, and number six. Race 18, delete Bob Dolman. Delete 174 Ian Gutteridge. Jay has got an engine breather bolt and he rides with loss on the track. It's up on that top corner. Jay has got that for you. An engine breather bolt up on that top corner. 
We're having up on the road in for race number 18. Away we go, looking to Steve Dorr on his mother's name. It's going to start to move down from the Steve Dorr sweeps. Play on the outside, Wayne Borrowder's going to go with him. This could be a good race between these two as Steve Dorr leads him up the back straight for the first time. Wayne Borrowder starting the peg back the ground. On Steve Dorr, on his front, holds that third place. Tim Nant in four. Tom Meekins is in five. We look at those two roaring into that pit's corner. Steve Dorr around the outside, Wayne Borrowder taking him up the line. Steve Dorr leads him. Look, Borrowder's holding second. Borrowder's got the third place. The three abreast for third place, they go in that top corner on lap number two. It's Steve Dora leads and Wayne Barrett can't seem to close the gap at the moment. It's in that pitch corner on lap number two. Dora leads it then from Barrett holding that, holding that second place position. He's still a long way from him. Seven, Crystal and eight, Joyce in nine, that's a nine, as Steve Dorr totally dominates in this race at number 18, he's well clear of Wayne Bowers, has got that second place, on to four then goes Steve Dorr, clear from Bowers, holding that second, Meekins now consolidating the third, Fenner is in four, Mount is five, Bowers up to six, minus seven, Crystal eight, Joyce in nine, as we see Steve Dorr up the back straight and for the final time finally eases off as he goes into that pitch corner on lap number four. That's it's up again then from 1-1-0 Steve Dorr, he gets the winning ride. Second place is Wayne Barrett. Tom Meekins comes across the line in third, on his better in four, he only five since Mount 6, but special step by the line at eighth, a rejoins in ninth place. Race 18 result to win for 110, Steve Dorr. Second number 23, Wayne Barrett. And third number 10, Tom Meekin. 32, 5, 17, 111, 246, and 57. Right, now we go then to race 19, delete 7 to 1. Second heat, 500 solos. Danny Ball making a good start, Alan Silver's making a better start this time, Harlan Cook's all so quickly away, Aaron P settles into that fourth place, as Filmer leads him up the back straight the first time, Boiler's got the second, Cook has got the third, Cook's about to make a move in third place, they go up the back straight and into that pitch corner on the opening lap then, Filmer leads him from Boyle in second, Cook has got position number three, Filmer's gone wide, Ball takes a much time, Boyle almost gets thrown into that, and Filmer does get through this time, Ball leads him, then Filmer in second, Cook in third, leads him four, Boyle makes a mistake and Filmer's gone back to on the inside, these two locked together going up the back straight with Filmer on the inside ball again making a move around the outside now ball cuts it back for the inside one to come back inside Filmer who has gone wide and ball leads him and Filmer in second is cooking for super race between these two as they roar in that top corner once again, it's Paul who leads him and Filmer holding second, Cook is from the third P's in four, Leeds in five New it in six, French in seven that's the top seven, as Danny Ball starting to get away from Adam Filmer the Super race for first and second place. Boyle leads him up to four. Wilmer got that second. It's Cook in third. These holds position number four. New it in five. Leeds in six. Bench in seven. Up the back straight then. 40 final time goes Johnny Ball. Going to pick up a very impressive winning ride in this race number 19. The second heat of the 500 solos. Danny Boyle gets the winning ride. And on Filmer comes across the line there in second. Harlan Cook coming under pressure for that third place. Harlan Cook gets third. Aaron Pease is in four with the sick motor. Jason Newis in five. Benjamin Leeds in six. French in seventh place.
Race number 19 result. Super racing in that second heat of the 500 solos. First, number 95, Danny Boyle. Second, number 7, Harlan Cook. And third, number 24, Adam Filmer, put back one place. 36, 112, 3, and 99. Race 20, delete 125. squeeze from the inside, Bowman's go around the outside, Penfold have got that third cup, is back in fourth place then, as Bowman's lead going up the back straight for the first time, it's Ridley who's got that second, Penfolds are in third, Cup is in position number four, these four getting away at the front, and they come out of that pit, score a complete lap number one, Bowman has to squeeze through on the inside, Ridley gets to inside, Ridley to go through the second place, Bowman leads, Penfold have got the second, Ridley's in third, Cup is in fourth, and looking to improve upon that, Fourth place with Andy Pack in position number five. As Irwin and Alex Bowman, they're getting away the front with Penfolds trying to close the gap there in second place. It's still Ridley hanging on to third. And the right there, the outside of that At the top corner once again, Bowman with the advantage end from Penfold in second. Still Ridley in third. Cuff again making a move around the outside on the exit from that top corner. Pack holds that fifth place position. It's Irwin and Alex Bowman had machine problems last time out when holding the second place position. There's the front of the third, second. Left hand is on to left hand, then ten balls on that second. Cup is there, finally gone through into third. Relegated Ridley to four. Packers in five, up the back straight for the final time. Passenger looks behind, they've got a big lead over Penfolds in this race for first and second place. Irwin and Alex Bowman have a commanding lead going into that pits corner for the final time. Penfold is all second place, Martin Cummins back and forth into that third spot with Johnny Ridley in fourth, Andy Pack in fifth place. Race 20, the win for number seven, Irwin and Alex Bowman. Second number 22, Will Penfold, Adrian North. And third, 128, Martin Cup, Steve North. 130, and two nine two. Well, race twenty one, adding number ten, Frank Yates. Classic 250's heat number two, Chris Mack has made a good start and uh, Tim Neal was gone with him, each to lock shoulder to shoulder on the entry to that top corner, Mackin on the inside, Neal making a move round the outside as they race at the back straight and Frank Yates has got machine problems while holding the fourth place position and again it's uh, Tim Neal making a move from the inside of Chris Mackin again, these two locked together on the entry to that pits corner, Mackin on the inside, Neal trying to cut back through to get inside, Mackin on the exit from the corner. It's Virtual holding that third place and Virtual in fourth place as well. Just the four runners now as they go up the back straight once again. Chris Mackin clear a bike clear and a Tim Neal holding that second place fishing. Number 69, Andrew Rowling has got going again there back in fifth place. As Mackin it is who leads him into that pitch corner again. Tim Neal trying to squeeze on the inside of 
not a bit too quick at the moment. Back at Legion then. Oh, and problems the tin there. We heard it go as they went by us this time. That time, it's still the virtual has gone through into second place. Tim Neal, we heard problems for him. We've lost another rider over that far side of the track as well. So they're spread all around the track at the moment. In this second heat of the classic 250s, Chris Mackett, the race at his mercy, on to lap number four. Jim Virtual still holds up. Second place, it's Bernard Virtual who's got the third. Frank Yates is trying to get going again. But he's only completed one lap, so it's, uh, they are all over the place in this uh, second heat of the 250 Classic. Chris Mackett, he's looking down his bike now, but he's got a big advantage up the front. He can virtually coast into that last corner. So it is Chris Mackett who gets this winning ride this time. Second place is Jim Birchall. And third place, if he keeps it going, will be number 21, Bernard Burchill. Race 21 result then, a win for number 68, Chris Mackey. Second, 197, Jim Burchill, and third, number 21, Bernard Burchill. Race 22, delete number 10. Last race, of course, with the wheel coming out. So it looks like we've only got the three crews then again for the second leg of the 500s. Uh, Josh Goodwin gets away, Dan Berwick again has made a very quick start. But it's going to be going through in the second place as Josh Goodwin leads in the top corner on the opener. Natasha Bark has gone through in the second place. Dan Berwick will squeeze it on round the outside of that top corner. But still Bark is having a good ride holding on to that second place. But it is... Uh, Goodwin and Brown who lead into the pits corner on the opening lap. Natasha Barkett and Ricky Pay having a splendid ride there, holding on to that second place mission. And Mary Mark Watkins have got the third and can't close the gap on Natasha Barkett at the moment. As they go up the back straight once again then, Josh Goodwin, Liam Brown in the chair, clear at the front then from still Natasha Barkett hanging on to that second place. And Dan Berwick is not closing the gap at all there in the third place position. Completing two then, Goodwin and Brown on course to make it two and two in the heat of the 500. Natasha Martin, Mark Hopkins grimly hanging on to that second, and Ricky Pay hanging on to that second. Dan Berwick making a move round the outside of that top corner, has closed the gap, he's half the distance on the second place crew as they go up the back straight on lap number three. Last lap flag being made ready then for Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown. They're well clear to front, they've got a good race to develop for that second place. Natasha Martin hanging on to the inside line. Forcing um, Dan Berwick to go right round the outside. He's still got a lot to do now in this last three quarters of a lap. Goodman and Brown have cleared the front. We watched Dan Berwick pick, picking up speed. Halfway up that back straight. Can he get to Natasha Barkley? And Ricky Pay's going to make a big move round the outside of that pits corner. Josh Goodwin, Liam Brown, they get the winning ride. Dan Berwick coming round the outside. But Natasha Barkley hangs on to that second place. Dan Berwick in third place. Race 22 resolved to win for number 3, Josh Goodwin, Liam Brown. Second number 9, Natasha Bartlett and Ricky Pay. And third, number 68, Dan Berwick, Mark Hopkins. Right, back then to the start of the programme, leg 3 of the 250 solos. Solos. Oh, looking across, started out, walks away up from 
the danger, away they go in all in Cook and Ricky Carby looking to make the start with his Ricky Carby. And then Coach from a three of us going into that top corner. Scarb on the inside, Clary Coates the middle, it's Harlan Cook who sweeps round the outside to lead him up the back straight on the open. Clary Coates has got the second, but Scarborough has gone through on the inside to move through in the second place. Lewis Scarborough has got that fourth place. Clary Coates comes again, retakes second, but Ricky Scarborough back through on the inside of Lewis Scarborough trying to come round the edge. Clary Coates has got the third place. Cook leads for Scarborough in second. Clary Coates in third, Scarborough in fourth. Ashley Hill and Jack Nelson scrapping it out for fifth and sixth place, and Nelson makes a move round the outside. Hill again comes back up the inside to retake that fifth place. Nelson again has got to go right round the outside of that top corner. Megan Holtby, of course, the addition of the programme at the back of the moment. There's Cook is the leader, there's Scarborough holding second. Clary Coates in third, Scarborough fourth, Hill five, Nelson six, Lingham seven, Cook is an eight. That's the top eight, they got the back straight once again, Harlan Cook again starting to dominate this heat of the 250 solos. It's still Ricky Scarborough holding that second place, Lewis Scarborough again has designs on that third place of seven Terry coaches. Cook beat him on the four, Scarborough holding the second. Clara Coates in third, Lewis Scarborough in four, Lewis Scarborough, can he squeeze through now? Clara Coates again, back way the outside to retake that third place, the main action for third and fourth, a terrific strap for fourth and fifth as well between Hill and Nelson. As we see Harlan Cook, the clear leader of this third leg of the two fifties, he picks up the winning line. Second is Ricky Scarborough, Lewis Scarborough makes the one and Clara Coates, Clara Coates gets third, Scarborough in four, Hill in five, Nelson in six. Lingham in seven, Humphreys in eight, Holtby in ninth place. Race 23 was on to win for number seven, Harlan Cook. Second number 14, Ricky Scarborough. And third number 94, Trevor Clary Coates. 79, 74, 33, 77, 205 and number 18. Again a call from the clerk of the course for the riders to get in the pit boxes a little bit quicker if you can please, thank you. Race 24, add in number 37, Tim Neal, delete 337, 131 and 89. Down to two only for this uh, race number 24, 375, yes we are, so it's uh, Chris back of the leads and Ben Lee Barley holding that second place position, so we've lost Dave Lambert since the last heat. So up the back straight they go in, Chris Mackett leads from uh, Lee Barley holding that second place position. They make their way into that uh, pits corner on the uh, opening lap. This pack is not going wide. Lee Barley taking a much closer on the Lee Barley is almost squeezed from it. So Chris Mackett, he has got inside Chris Mackett. So Lee Barley leads him and Chris Mackett in second place. What can Chris Mackett do about that as they go up the back straight? Then he's three bikes down, but Chris Mackett winds it on on the entry to that top corner. Barley on the inside. Mackett will make a move round the outside of that pits corner, but still Barley with the advantage. Mackett back there in second place. He comes alongside Barley now. They complete lap two. Barley on the inside. Mackett again back round the outside outside Barley gets the corner first Mackett again will he wind it on round the outside of that top turn he's a bike down now as they go up the back straight and Mackett makes his move round the outside he comes alongside Lee Barley Lee Barley comes again to retake the lead on the entry to that pits corner Barley leads from Mackett in second and Barley's right in the mid trap position forcing Mackett right round the outside they go on to four then Barley leads Mackett has got the second two bikes between them as they move into the top corner on lap number four so Lee Barley going up that back straight it starts they get away from Chris Mackett. Mackett, as I say that, winds on the power, starts to close the gap going into that pits corner. Two bikes between first and second coming up that pits corner. Lee Bar oh, Chris Mackett's bike's gone. Chris Mackett's bike is gone. Lee Barley gets the winning ride. And Chris Mackett's going to coast across the line there with a sick bike. He's come to a stop. Needs, of course, to push it across the line if he can't get it going to pick up the 
second place point so it's Chris Mack bit of applause for Chris Mack in that too fair old push there for Chris he's had a busy weekend racing yesterday and again today but he's going to push across the line to get crucial second place points so there you go race number 24 one by number 5 Lee Barley second number 68 Chris Mackett Right, on we go then to the big chairs. What a race this should prove to be. Rod Winterburn unbeaten. Colin Blackbourne unbeaten. Robbie Wilson a second and a third. Lester Page a third and a fourth. And Shane Lingwood. Paul Standing has signed on for today, but he's not been out in the opening uh, two heats of the big chair. So this should be a super duper race number 25. Superstar and he's back in fourth place with it all to do now as they go into that top corner for the first time. It's Robbie Wilson leads Rob Winderburn trying to find a way through on the inside. Winderburn taking those movements there just through on the inside. Winderburn leads it. And Wilson all in second. Colin Blackmore's now up to third and trying to get inside Robbie Wilson. They go to the back straight once again. Winderburn and Brown have gone away at the front. Robbie Wilson holds that second. Colin Blackmore's got the third. Page in four. Lingwood in five. That's the five as they exit that top corner once again. Rob Winderburn, Lee and Brown. They're clear the front again. Colin Blackmore's fighting it through on the Robbie Wilson. Super race for second and third. Colin Blackmore's got through on the inside. Robbie Wilson back round the outside. Colin Blackmore comes again to retake that second place position. Winterburn leads from Blackburn in second. What a super ride again by Colin Blackburn coming through from fourth to second. But he can't get near Rod Winterburn at the moment. Winterburn leads him on the four. Blackburn holds that second. Wilson in third. Page in four. Lingwood in five. Off the back straight they go. Four deep on the time. Rod Winterburn, Liam Brown looking to be on beat in the heats of the thousand sidecars here this afternoon. Three races. It looks like they're going to pick up three wins. Colin Blackburn, Carl Pugh consolidating that second place position. Rod Winterburn, Liam Brown, they get the wooden line. Second Colin Blackburn, Carl Pugh. Bobby Wilson, Bradley Steer pick up the third. Lester Page in four. Shane Lingwood in five. Good side corruption again in race number 25. Race 25 then. Won by number 48, Rod Winderburn, Liam Brown. Second number 25, Colin Blackburn, Carl Pugh. And third number 42, Robbie Wilson, Bradley Steer. 52 and 174. Race 26, John Stafford's passenger, James Laurie. Apologies for that as Rob Wilson leads him into that top corner. Pete Colvin's got that second place position. Wilson leads from Colvin in second. Stafford is up to the 
fourth is in five, Dean in six, that's the six. And Rob Wilson going to that back straight on lap number two with Pete and Steve Corbin doing the chase in there. In second place, John Stafford hanging on to that third. Meekins gets a little bit closer in four. It's Thorpe in five. He's clear of Dean in sixth place. So Rob Wilson leads him with him. Corbin all in second. Stafford has got the third and Meekins trying to squeeze away from the inside. Stafford's gone wide and Meekins might get thrown me inside. He does get thrown me inside. Stafford again will sweep back round the outside to retake that third place. Good race him a third and fourth place in. There's Rob Wilson, the clear leader, and Pete Coleman holding that second place pitch in Stafford now. Regains that third, he's gone wide again. Meekins again trying to squeeze so on the inside. Good race for third and fourth Stafford. Just hanging on to that third place. There's Rob Wilson, Terry Saunders down the back straight then for the uh, far more time in this second heat of the big chairs about to lap the back marker on that top corner Rob Wilson right round the outside of that back marker he gets the winning ride second place is Pete and Steve Coleman and Meekins in fact I think we've lost uh, John Stafford on that lap so Meekins goes through the third Thorpe is in four John Stafford hand in the air over on that far side of the track so problems there for the third place rider Race 26 result to win for number 24, Rob Wilson, Terry Saunters. Second number 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. And third, 311, Julian Meekins, Glenn Waterfield. Fourth, 362. straight they go for the first time then it's Smith who leads in, Whitaker Hort second, Falk the third, Barber in four, the order the same as it has been in the other two outings and again Richard Smith already starting to dominate despite the best efforts, efforts of Andrew Whitaker's on the wide line. Lawrence Barber looks to have machine problems there back in fourth place for Lawrence Barber left for the three in this heat of the 350 solos then Smith leads it from uh, Whitaker holding second, Faulkner has got the third, Lawrence Barber pulls on to the middle of the track with machine problems, still ready to then, Whitaker looks behind him, see Whitaker, Moyle in second, Faulkner has got the third, uh, Richard Smith's going to make it 3-3 three to three in the heats of the uh, 350 solos, again he looks behind him as he goes at the back straight to see exactly where Andrew Whitaker is. Richard Smith out of that uh, fifth corner. On to lap four. Looking very impressive at the front end. Whittaker holds that second place. Faulkner has got the third place as they go up the back straight end for the final time. It is Smith the clear leader. Whittaker holds second. Faulkner in third place. Coming out of that final corner and looking very much to make it three to three. Richard Smith will get the wood in line. Second place is Andrew Whitaker. And third place will be Michael Faulkner. Race 27, a win for number 33, Richard Smith. Second, number 171, Andrew Whitaker. And third, number 144, Michael Faulkner. Race 28, delete Bob Dolman, delete Luke Tuck. Add in 143, Mike Scalding, and number 6, Ben Collins. Again. They're ready this time. Starter moves away. 
say. Has gone with him, Fred Crystal and Andy Gomer, the top four going in. That could be Scott Ryan who has the advantage going up the back straight the first time. Meekins has gone for the second, Crystal is in third, that's Gomer's in four, Scalding in five, Liner in six, Barley in seven. Now Barley goes through into sixth place, so they enter the pits corner on the opening. That then Ryan has the advantage. Going up to five, Barley six, Liner in seven, Collins in eight. That's the eight. They stream up the back straight once again. Scott Ryan starting to get away at the front then, but Tom Meekins holding that second place position. Gomer's got the third. Fred Crystal looking for that third place. These four start to get away from the remainder of the field. As Scott Ryan leads completely that one there. Meekins are all that second. Gomer's got the third. Crystal four. Ryan at five. Barley six. Scouting seven. Collins and eight. They go up the back straight once again. Scott Ryan looks behind him. They see Tom Meekin still chasing on in that second place position. Andy Gom consolidating that third. Fred Crystal can't seem to improve upon that fourth place. So that's that side again. The race leader Scott Ryan. Tom Meekin in second. Tom in third. Crystal four. Barley five. Minus six. Scouting in seven. Collins eight. Halfway up the back straight is Scott Ryan, the old race leader. Pick up the heat, William race number 28. Another heat of the John Underwood Trophy for the upright solos here this afternoon. It is Scott Ryan who gets seat winning ride this time. Second place is Tom Meekins. Third is Andy Gong. And Crystal coming under pressure. Moves to that fourth place. Barley gets four. Crystal five. Ryan is six. Scott in seven. Collins in eighth place. Race number 28, one by number 21, Scott Ryan. Second number 10, Tom Meekins. And third, 261, Andrew Gom. Five, 111, 246, 143, and number 6. Another heat of the upright solos and delete 174. Number 7 will be Ian Barney. Number 77 will be Ian Barney. Steve Dorr has missed the strides back in about fourth place a moment as Wayne Barrett sweeps round the outside of that top corner. Graham Brown has gone from the second. Steve Dorr has got the third place. Tim Mount is in four. Barney in five. That's the top five of Army Fenner holding position number six. Joyce in seven. Coming on to complete the opening lap. There's Wayne Barrett in the second. Steve Dorr has got a word for this. Tommy Carter down the edge of Graham Brown at the moment. Barrett leads up and Dorr now gone through the second. Gets around the edge of Graham Brown, he's got a lot to do to get to Wayne Barrett from that position. As Barrett leads them, and Dora in second, Brown is in third. That's the top three in the seat of the upright solo. Wayne Barrett looks fine, he's in they go in that top corner once again. Barrett leads them, Dora in second. Brown has got the third, mounted four, Fenner five, Barney six. Off the back spread is Steve Dora just closed the gap slightly on Wayne Barrett who having said that he pulls away going into that pitch corner. Dora winds it on to that pitch corner moving on to lap four this time then. It's Barrett who leads from Dora holding second time. It's got the third mounting four, Fenner in five, Joyce in six. And Graham Brown got back to all into Steve Dora but Steve Dora again sweeps back round the outside. He's chasing Barrett now as they go into the pitch corner for the final time. It's Barrett who leads from Dora in second. Brown has got the third Barrett it's gone wide, door takes a much tighter line this time, Wayne Barrett gets a winning ride, second is Steve third place Graham Brown, fourth is Tim Mann, five Arnie Fenner, six Tommy Joyce, seven Ian Barney, and eighth place will go to number 25 Richard Wingfield so it all sets up for a super final in the uprights that's one win to Steve Dorr and one win to Wayne Barrett in the heats of the upright solos super racing in race number 29 won by number 23 Wayne Barrett second number 110 Steve Dorr and third 122 Graham Brown 
17, 32, 57, 77, and 25. and Danny Ball has hit the deck rather hard there. They all got away together and up came the front wheel of Danny Ball. He couldn't get it down. And uh, Danny there being attended to on that top corner. see Danny being attended to there by the ambulance personnel on that top call. Let's hope he's going to be okay. He actually made the start and was about to get into the race and the front wheel just come up right in front of his face. He couldn't get it down quickly enough and uh, let's hope Danny's going to be okay. Race 30 restart, back on the line. A clean break this time and film has made a good start. Cook is alive, we top with an iron piece. Ben leads in four, French in five, New it in six. Fritz Filmer leads him up the back straight for the first time. The Holland Cook trying to close the gap as they race up the back straight. Two bikes between first and second is Filmer leads from Cook holding that second place position. They roar into that pitch corner on the opening lap. Filmer going wide. Cook taking a much time to line. Fritz Filmer leads him from Cook in second. Pease has got the third. New it in four. Leads is fine. French in sixth. And one for the oh, Filmer's gone down in a big way. Adam Filmer is down in a big way over on that far side. My word, that is a big one there for Adam Filmer on that far side of the track. this race we've now got uh, another spill in this third leg of the uh, 500 solos and certainly Adam Filmer losing it a big way over on that far side of the track the medical vehicle again there very very quickly indeed so we're back with the same situation as with um, We got news from the middle that the rear chain has caused the problem there. It's completely caught up and threw Adam off the track. So you can see that he was one way and the bike was the other. But obviously, that, if that's the case, it has brought the bike to a complete halt and he has been just thrown over the top of the handlebars. So that's the news from the middle already. So obviously we'll keep you posted with any news of uh, Adam as well. So waiting for Harlan Cook to move into line.
Way to go then with the race on of race number 30. And uh, as they come by, the first on our MP2, the Ben Lee's in second, Harlan Cook is in third, Jason Newitt in fourth, four, and uh, Martin French in fifth place. But Harlan Cook has already broken clear, leads him up the back to our MPs, comes the big one, sweeps inside Harlan Cook as they go in that top corner once again, Bees on the inside, Cook again making a move round the outside, and Cook leads them the Bees holding second place, Richard Cook round the outside, Bees on the inside, Newitt has got that third place, Lee's in fourth, French in five, as they race up the back straight once again, Harlan Cook now starting to dominate this rerun heat of the 500 solos. He leads into that pits corner once again. That's uh, Harlan Cook with the lead. And Aaron Peake's holding that second. Jason Newitt has got the third place position. Harlan Cook seems to be coasting at the front now. Peake's has got the second. Newitt is in third. Leads in fourth. French in five. That's the five as the leader up the back straight once again. And that leader is Harlan Cook. Takes a long look behind him. Aaron Pease is starting to close the gap slightly. But I think Harlan Cook knows exactly where Aaron Pease is. He leads him on to four then. That's Cook the leader. And Pease in second. is in third. Leeds in four. French in five. Wants the leader going up the back straight once again. And Aaron Pease really wide that bottom corner. Almost lost that second place. It's Harlan Cook. Coasting into the uh, pits corner for the final time in three times started race number 30. Harlan Cook gets the winning ride. Second place is Aaron Pease. Third, Jason Newitt. Fourth, Benjamin Lee. And fifth, Martin French. Your result in a race 30. Win for number seven, Harlan Cook. Second number 36, Aaron Pease. And third, 112, Jason Newitt. Three and 99. Race eight, of course, put in your program 128, Martin Cup and Steve North. Delete number 125. They are locked together now as they enter that top corner. Penfold on the inside, Bowman again trying to get round the outside. Penfold holds the ground, Bowman's gone too wide and lost. Looks like Martin Cup has gone through into that second place position. Bowman's throwing up and can well lose that third place. It's Penfold is the leader on that pits corner for the first time. It's Martin Cup who holds that second place position. Bowman is from Cup. Penfold is from Cup in second. Bowman is in third. Pack in four, Ridley in five, that's a five. As they raced up the back straight then once again, Penfold leads, but he's been chased by Martin Cook now as they go up the back straight on lap number two. These two getting away. Finn Bowman's have got that third place position, still Penfold holding the inside line, forcing Martin Cook to come right there, the end of the corner. Penfold the leader, and Cook is second, Bowman is in the third. Back in four, Ridley in five, that's a five, up the back straight they go once again then. Top three start, they get away from positions four and five. It's still when Will Penfold and Adrian North who've got the lead then. And Martin Cup and Steve North holding that second place. Bournemouth just took it into third. On to lap four they go then. Penfold the lead, chased by Cup in second. Bournemouth's got the third. Long way to do, back in four and Ridley in five. Cup again gets very close to Penfold and... And Bowman's are taking closer order in third place. They go up the back straight then for the final time. Penfold coming under pressure from then Cuff and Cuff's coming under pressure from Bowman. They're going to be three abreast coming out of that uh, pitch corner for the final time. As Penfold who gets it, man, it's a good race. Penfold get it. Cuff gets a second. Bowman's in third. Back in fourth, really in fifth place. Race 31 result, win for number 22, Will Penfold and Adrian North. Second number, 128, Martin Cuff, Steve North. And third, number 7, Irwin and Alex Bowman. 
292-130. Race 32, put in number 10, Frank Yates. Two classic 250s, and it uh, looks to me like Chris Mackin on uh, Tim on number 17's bike. It is Chris Mackin who leads going in that top corner from Frank Yates holding that second place position. So, obviously, Chris, of course, he had machine problems last time out. I think that uh, may well be a bike of Tim Mounts. He's bothered, but he's certainly uh, out and axe Tim on this one. It is Chris Mackin who leads on a strange bike from Frank Yates holding that second place position. Virtual is in third, Bruno Virtual is in fourth. They go into that top corner once again. Mackett leads, Frank Yates getting very close in second place. Good race developing between these two with Virtuals back in third and fourth places. Off the back straight they go there. Mackett the leader, and Yates in second. Two bikes between these two as they go into that pitch corner once again. Chris Mackett takes a wide line, Frank Yates taking a much larger line. Still the same two bikes between them. Do they complete that one? It's still them. Jim Birchall in third with um, Bernard Birchall in fourth place. That's the four. So you go off the back straight once again. Mackett seems to be controlling it from the front. He's got the same advantage over Frank Yates as they go in that pitch corner on lap number three. The last lap flag. Female ready then for uh, Chris Mackett. Clear of Frank Yates in second. Jim Birchall in third. Bernard Birchall in fourth place. As we watch Mackett go off the back straight then for the final time in leg three of the 250 classics. He's stretching away now from Frank Yates, so it's going to be Chris Mackett that picks up the winning ride this time. Exits that pits corner and takes the chequered flag then for race number 32. Second place goes to Frank Yates. Third, Jim Burchill. And fourth is Bernard Burchill. Race number 32, won by number 68, Chris Mackett. Second, number 10, that is Frank Yates. And third, 197, Jim Virgil. Fourth, number 21. Right, race 33, 500 sidecars, delete number 10. Simon Bead again, he suffered machine problems in the uh, second heat, so uh, just the three crews, Dan Berwick, Natasha Barkin and Josh Goodwin for this leg on the 500 sidecar. Oh, Natasha Barkin, oh, she just about controlled it, no, red flag is up, red flag is up. Looks like they were going to come off, but they've just about hung on to it, thankfully the bike didn't run away. So obviously that race stopped in the interest of safety. Natasha Barkett and Ricky Payne, so just the two crews going out, that's Josh Grunin and Liam Brown and uh, Dan Barrick, Mark Hopkins, so a match race of the 500 sidecars, so they got the back straight the first time, Josh Grunin and Liam Brown have been really flying this afternoon, but Dan Barrick's hanging on to their shirt towels at the moment, they go into that pitch corner on the opening lap, 
Good William Brown, there, steered from the American Hopkins. Right, complete the over then. It is good wind clear then, Brown. In the chair, of course, linking up with uh, Rod Winderburn in the thousand as well. So a busy afternoon for Liam Brown. He's tucked in there behind Josh Goodwin as they roar into that pitch corner. They're starting to get away from Dan Berwick in second place. Moving two then, Goodwin and Brown are leaders from Berwick and Hopkins in second place. The leader up the back straight once again then. Increasing leader about the turn of the wheel now over the second place rider. Into the pitch corner they go, the last, last lap flag B may ready then, the crew number three, the crew of Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown, their well curved Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins, crew number 68. Up the back straight they go then, the leaders, winding control for to the length of a straight between first and second now as they roar into the pitch corner for the final time in race number 33. It's impressive to begin from crew number three, the crew of Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown. Dan Berwick, has he got problems there or was he just coasting across the line in second place? Talking to the passenger, he comes across the line, but nevertheless they pick up second place points there. Yeah, obviously problems pull straight away onto the middle of the track. So race 33, won by number three. Josh Goodwin, Liam Brown, and second number 68, Dan Berwick, Mark Hopkins. Four flag of the 250s then. Lewis Scarborough has fallen upon the starting area, racing continue then, as Harlan Cook leads him up the back straight the first time, and Ricky Scarborough holding second, Ashley Hill, best rider of the afternoon so far, he's got the third place, Clever Coach is in position number four, that's the uh, top four then, Harlan Cook leads him for a wide ride in Ricky Scarborough in second, Hill has got the third, Clever Coach in four, Lingham in five, Humphreys in six, so no Jack Nelson this time, and Hill's coming under pressure for third place, Clara Coates almost finding a way through on the inside, but Hill hangs on to third. And still it's Cook who leads in from Scarborough holding second, Hill has got the third, Clara Coates getting ever closer in four, these four getting away in five, Humphreys in six. And uh, Ricky Scarborough machine, Tomlin will hold in second place, so it's all happening again, this fourth leg of the 250s. Disaster there for Ricky Scarborough, already three safe second places, and he's got machine problems in that t race number 34. Then it's Harlan Cook, one in control, the front, good race again, the second and third, actually on. Trying to come back around the edge of Clara Coach, Clara Coach, why do you want to go? On to four then, Cook leads from Clara Coach in second, Hill has got the third. Lingham is in four, Humphreys in five. Going up the back straight then for the final time, Harlan Cook coasting into that last corner. Time to look over his shoulder, Ashley Hill going to have one last go at Trevor Clara Coates that race for second and third place. It's Harlan Cook gets a winning ride. Trevor Clara Coates picks up the second. Ashley Hill in third. Ross Lingham is in four. Ross in five. And Megan Holtby in sixth place. Race 34 result, win for number 7, Harlan Cook. Second number 94, Trevor Clericoats. And third, 74, Ashley Hill. 77, 205 and 18. Just got three runners in for pre-75 late four, race 35 on the program. And Dave Lambert again. We use in fact Dave Lambert out on the outside of the grid. So it's uh, Tim Neal that's not come out, it's Chris Mackey leads him for the first time. And Lambert's got the second, Barley is in third. 
So the three run lead Barney trying to make a move around the outs of Dave Lambert upon that top corner. Chris Mackett's already built himself a good lead at the front. Lambert holds that second. Barley Mick goes through on the inside to move through in the second place. Can he get to Chris Mackett now as they come off that pitch corner and through complete lap number one then. Mackett is the leader. One Barley Barley holds that second. Lambert has got the third. Ricky Scarborough just pushing his bike back up towards the pits area after that disastrous engine failure while in second place. So it is Chris Mackett cleared the front then. Barley holds second. Lambert has got the third. They race into the pits corner on lap number two then. Exit that pits corner back in place with the front takes a look behind to see Lee Barley hold that second place. Dave Lambert is in third about equal distance between the three of them as they go up the back straight once again halfway up that back straight Mackett's clear Barley second Lambert in third the last lap flag be made ready then in leg four of the pre-75 solos led by number 68 Chris Mackett Tommy Barley in second Dave Lambert is in third place the leader into that top corner for the final time up the back straight he goes then Barley desperately trying to close the gap but can't close it at all now as they go into that pits corner on lap number four. It's going to be another impressive win coming up for number 68, Chris Mackett. Lee Barley, third place, Dave Lambert. Race 35, a win for number 68, Chris Mackett. Second number five, Lee Barley, and third, one two seven, Dave Lambert. Storm. This could be interesting now as Whitaker leads into that top corner. Smith has got the second. Fulton is in third. Barber at the back as they got the back straight for the first time then. Richard Smith got Andrew Whitaker in his sights now now as they move into that pits corner. Whitaker two bikes up on Smith going into that pits corner. Whitaker goes wide. Smith takes him on side to line. But Whitaker holds the day. Looks behind him. You see Richard Smith right there with him now as they go in that top corner once again. Whitaker a bike up on Smith. Whitaker's wide again. Smith takes a title on the inside of Richard Smith goes through on the inside Whitaker again squeaks back by on the outside as they go into the pits corner once again Whitaker on the outside Smith on the inside locked together now Smith just takes the advantage again with Whitaker again back by on the outside going into that top corner once again Smith takes lead on the inside Whitaker again squeaks back by on the outside these two locked together for first and second going up the back straight once again Smith comes through on the inside again but Whitaker's a bike up now as they go in the pits corner on lap number three Smith on the inside line Whitaker around the outside Whitaker's really wide has gone through on the inside he pressurised Andrew Whittaker so hard he had to go wide upon that top corner and it's Richard Smith who now leads going up the back straight then for the final time Andrew Whittaker in second it's Michael Faulkner in third Lawrence Barber is in fourth place so it's going to be four to four for Richard Smith in the heat of three fifties tremendous race again there won by Richard Smith second Andrew Whittaker Michael Faulkner is going to pick up the third place with Lawrence Barber in fourth place. But what a super race that was for three of the four laps. Fans, as the 500s come up to line, show a red round there by Richard Smith. The riders going back up in the pit. Superb four ride maximum there for Richard Smith. Four rides, four winning rides. Great race there with uh, Andrew Whitaker in the fourth leg of the 350 solos. The result then, a win for number 33, Richard Smith. Second, number 171, Andrew Whitaker. And third, number 144, Michael Faulkner. Fourth, number 17. Race 37, delete 24, 721 and 95. Right, coming out.
FN4 race number 37, away to the 500 solo. Away to a clean break, and it's got number 90, Danny's age. Is that Danny Boyle come out, number 95? He looks to be leading them going into that top corner. This is the major, Alan Pease has got the second. Harlan Cook is back in third, so is that Danny Ball amazingly coming out after that horrific crash at the start of the air? It is Danny Ball. I, I noticed the letters there, I thought perhaps it's a bit cosy, but it is. It's Danny Ball and Lee Jem, Rowan Pease in second, Harlan Cook in third, Jade's new in fourth, Benjamin Lee's in position number five as they race up the back straight once again then. Danny Ball is going up that back straight. Lauren Pease holding that second place. Holman Cooks hunting down Lauren Pease and moves to in the second place as Boyle is the leader then. Moving on to completing that lap then. Ball still leads from Cook in second. Pease in third. New in four. Leeds is in five. Up to top five to the race at the back straight. And Danny Ball is a mile away at the front then. Holman Cook holds that second. Pease is in third. Newitz is in fourth, uh, Danny Ball, both wheels off the ground there, coming off that pitch corner, leads him on to Paul then, Ball is the leader, Van Cook holding second, Leeds has got the third, Newitz is in four, Leeds in five, French in six, going up the back straight as your race to the Danny Ball, and that's the lap, some of the back markers, he roars into that pitch corner for the final time then, Somebody's foot rest has come off there, they come out of that top corner, it is Danny Boyle that gets the winning ride, Second place is going to be Harlan Cook. Third place goes to Aaron Pease. Fourth, Jason Newitt. Five, Ben Leeds. Six, Martin French. Seven, Stephen Drury. Right, they're coming around the lap of honour. This is amazing to see Danny Ball out. This is the young man that was being treated in the ambulance. He's obviously felt he's okay. Please show your appreciation for the 500 solos. What a return on this for Danny after missing the third leg back and, and to back to his scintillating best in winning that heat on the 500 solos. Jason knew it on his lap of honour. And Holland Cook, who I'm sure over the four legs has probably won these 500 uh, solo. Well done to Holland there. Benjamin Leeds and Mr. French there, the riders in the 500 solos. Race 37 result, twin for number 95, Danny Boyle. Second number 7, Holland Cook. And third, number 36, Aaron Pease. 112, 3, 99, and 58. Right, race 38, final leg of the 1,000cc left-handers. Make a good start from towards the inside. Third place, Martin Cook hasn't made the best of starts. He's looking for that third place of Ridley now. Gets around Ridley to go through into third place. As Bond was leaving, Penfold in second. Cook, in, Cook is in third. Ridley back in four. Packers in five. That's a five. They go in the pitch corner for the first time. Bond was in the lead. Then Penfold in second. Bond was again. A long wide. Penfold trying to squeeze the extra speed. He leads it. Penfold in second. Cook in third. Ridley four. Pack in position number five as they go up the back straight once again then and Cups again looking after Penfold for that second place. Up in third, close in four. Coming away from position number five as they complete lap number two then. Penfold holds that second. Cups really wide again to try and get the drive to go through 
into second place at the moment continue to lead this last heat of the left handers then Penfolds have got the second Cup is in third Ridley four packing five into the pits corner they go on lap number three the last lap five B May Reddin then for second Cup has got that third place it's Ridley in four packing five as they race up the back straight then for the Pomotong, they're not going to get to crew number seven. This time they're well clear the front then. Penfolds in north, consolidating that second. Cup and Steve North in third. Ridley and McQuirk are in fourth place. The Mormons get the winning line this time. Second place is Penfolds. Third place, Martin Cup. Fourth number 130 and fifth 292. So we wait to see if the left-handers do their lap of honour. Don't always see them in this neck of the woods, but they've added something to the meeting today. They really enjoy the race in these uh, left-handers. Something totally different, of course, to the 1,000cc right-handers. But they've said they would send the crews up to race, and that's exactly what they've done. So show your appreciation then to the crews coming round on the lap of honour. Four of them coming round. They have given us some good entertainment this afternoon. Led round by crew number one to eight, the crew of Martin Cup and Steve North. They lead the left-handers round on their lap of honour then. Martin Cup and Steve North. Then we've got Erwin and Alex Bowman, crew number seven on their lap of honour. Charlie Ridley, Harry McQuirk coming round on their lap of honour. And Will Penfold and Adrian North, complete with other passengers, they're the fourth crew to come round on their lap of honour. <laughs> Race 38 result then, a win for number 7, Irwin and Alex Bowman. Second number 22, Will and Adrian, Adrian, Will Penfold, Adrian North. Third number 128, Martin Cup, Steve North. 130-292. Race 39. One addition to race number 39 is number 10, Frank Yates. Classics, our final race then, and uh, it's uh, Chris Mackett again on the Saturday machine on each end, and Bruno Bertram making the best start he's made all the afternoon, he's in second place, Frank Yates is in third, Jim Birchall in fourth, with uh, Andrew Rolling in uh, fifth place, but Chris Mackett's already stolen a mile to the front, he's well clear in his final leg of the 250 Classics from Frank Yates, holding that second place position. Back at the leader, but uh, Yates in second. Jim Morgan Birchard goes through on the inside. Bernard Birchard will pick up the third place, relegating Bernard Birchard to fourth place. That's see top four as they race at the back straight once again. It's still Chris Mackey, well clear at the front. They go into that pitch corner on lap number two. Frank Yates now coming under pressure for that second place position. As Mackey leads, can put in two there. Then Yates holding second. Jim Birchard in third. Bernard Birchard in fourth place. Andrew Rowling in position number five. That's a five and this final leg of this 250 classic class as uh, Chris Mackey continues with his winning ways. The last lap flag be made ready then for rider number 68. Riding the number 17 machine. Chris Mackey leads him on the four then. Yates has got the second. It's still Jim Birchall in third. Bernard Birchall in fourth. Andrew Rowling, Rowling in fifth. So he's up the back straight then for the final time, and that rider is a number 68. Chris Mackett, the complete master of this class this afternoon. Frank Yates again now coming under pressure. They dive into that pitch corner for the final time. Chris Mackett gets the winning ride. Can Frank Yates hold on to his second place? Yes, he can. Jim Virtual picks up the third, and it's Bernard Virtual in fourth place. Oh, no lap of honour then for these riders, so the result, num win for number 68, Chris Mackey. Second number 10, Frank Yates. Third
Bird number 197, Jim Virgil, fourth number 21. Three crews coming out, so good to see Natasha Barkett and Ricky Pay. They're going to come out then for this final heat of the uh, 500 sidecars before we then move into the 1000cc sidecar final and the John Underwood final for the John Underwood trophy that we've got here in the box with us this afternoon. So the three crews settle then for the final eight of 500 sidecar action. Can anybody get anywhere near Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown? Finally, the 500 sidecar, Josh Goodwin leads them, and Dan Barrick in second. It's Natasha Barclay in third place. Going up the back straight then for the uh, first time, then Josh Goodwin, Liam Brown. They really up in the crew to catch this up, and they're already building themselves a big lead then. Dan Barrick and Mark Hopkins have got that second place with Natasha Barclay, Ricky Pay in third, equal distance between the three crews. As Goodwin leads them, and Dan Barrick all in second. It's to Barkett who's got the third, they say equal distance between the three as they go up the back straight once again but Josh Goodwin's very quick going up that back straight, starts to pull away there from Dan Barrett in that race for first and second place, taking a wide line on the exit from that pitch corner, Goodwin and Brown are the clear leaders and from Barrett and Hopkins holding second, Barkett and Pay hold the third the back straight they go once again the last lap flag being made ready then for crew number three the crew that is Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown that have dominated the 500 sidecar racing this afternoon they take the last lap flag clear then of Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins second Natasha Bart and Ricky Payne as we watch the leader up the back straight then for the final time so Dan Berwick holds that second, Natasha Bartlett in third place. So making it four to four in the heat of the 500, impressive stuff again. Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown, they get the winning ride. Second number 68, Dan Berwick, Mark Hopkins. And in third place, number nine, Natasha Bartlett, Ricky Payne. So here we are, Josh Goodwin and uh, Liam Brown on their lap of honour. They've dominated the... Oh, it's not Liam Brown. I think it's the birthday girl coming round the lap of honour. Could well be then the birthday girl of today coming round with Josh and the sidecar. Then we've got Natasha Bartlett and Ricky Payne. So show your appreciation. So lap of honour there for the birthday girl along with Josh Goodwin. But of course, Liam has got to jump off and jump straight on the back now of Rod Winterburn for the big sidecar final. So result of race 40, win for number 3, Josh Goodwin, Liam Brown. Second number 68, Dan Berwick, Mark Hopkins. And third number 9, Natasha Bartlett and Ricky Pay. Right, the 1000cc sidecar final. 48, Rod Winterburn, Liam Brown. 25, Colin Blackbourne, Carl Pugh. 24, Rob Wilson, Terry Saunters. 42, Robbie Wilson, Bradley Steer. 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. And 311, Julian Meekins and Glenn Waterfield. This, of course, will be a straight final. I say Liam Brown has just come off the back of Josh Goodwin, so he's not on, on board uh, Rod Winterburn at the moment. Very nice that the one of the left-hand sidecar crews has just been down to the box to thank the club very much for having them there. They have thoroughly enjoyed the afternoon. They said it's a fantastic track to race on and they're looking forward very much to being back with the club in September. So we thank that gentleman very much for coming down and representing all the left-handers who have had a very enjoyable day with us here today. And they've certainly added something to the meeting and we look forward to seeing them again on the 1st of September. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay. Right, the crew circling then 
uh, Liam Brown has taken this position on the back of Rob Winterburn. It's all on this straight final. Winterburn's unbeaten in the heats. Colin Blackburn only beaten once in the heats. Where are they going to go? <laughs> Looks like Colin Blackburn's is towards the middle. Next to him is uh, Pete Colvin. Looks like Rob Wilson right on the inside. Gap then, and then we've got uh, Rod Winterburn. Robbie Wilson's coming in between Rod Winterburn and Colin Blackburn. And the final crew is Julian Meekins and Glenn Waterfield. They go in grid number two. Start could be crucial so late in the meeting. This is the big sidecar final. Engines begin to pick up the red, the starter walks away, Colin Blackmore's made the start and Rob Wilson made a start and so is Rob Winterburn and Rob Winterburn's gone between two crews to lead going in that top corner of the first time, here comes Colin Blackmore with a big move right round the outside, Winterburn on the inside, Blackmore round the outside, Rob Wilson goes wide of course, stop Colin Blackmore going from the inside, Blackmore gets them on the inside as Winterburn leads from Blackmore holding second, Wilson third, Robbie Wilson's in fourth place, Colbert's in position number five as they go to the back straight once again, it's Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown are lead from Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh in second. Rob Wilson's got the third. Robbie Wilson is in fourth. Colvin's in five. They complete that one. Winterburn has him on his end. But Blackburn holding second. Wilson in third. Wilson in fourth. Colvin's in five. Meekin in six. They go to the back straight once again. Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown there start. They get away in this 1000cc sidecar final. Colin Blackburn trying all he knows to close the gap. They're in second place with Carl Pugh in the chair. Winterburn's lead him up to four. Then Blackburn holds that second. Rob Wilson third, Robbie Wilson four, Colman in five, Meekin in six, and Robbie Wilson hunting down Rob, Rob Wilson for that foot race for third in four places as Rob Winterburn leads into the top corner for the final time in the big chair, 1000cc sidecar final. Rob Winterburn and Liam Brown, they're going to win this 1000cc sidecar final. Second Colin Blackburn, Carl Pugh, Rob Wilson is third, Robbie Wilson four, Pete and Steve Colman in five, Julian Meekins in sixth place. The start was crucial. It was Rob Wilson who got the drop at the start. Colin Blackburn wasn't particularly quick away. Rob Winterburn went between two crews going down that back straight. And then Rob Wilson went wide. Colin Blackburn cut through on the inside to take that second place. So a super 1,000cc sidecar final. Please show your appreciation for the crews on their lap of honour. Excellent sidecar action again this afternoon as it always is with a big chair, so as they start to come round to, all, to where the crowd is, please show your appreciation for these six crews who raced in the 1,000cc sign cars this afternoon. Super duper final once again. Rod Winderburn, Liam Brown, they lead them round on beating all the afternoon. Three heat wins and winning the final as well. Liam Brown, of course, has picked up the win in the 500 sidecars. Colin Blackburn, Carl Pugh, another cracking afternoon's racing with Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh. Rob Wilkes, a bit more luck again today for Rob with Terry Saunders in the chair. Pete and Steve Colvin, we're glad to see them here this afternoon. And then finally, it is... Um, Robbie Wilson, Bradley Steer, in the thick of the action all the afternoon. Robbie's had a splendid afternoon racing for us. Robbie Wilson and Bradley Steer this afternoon. And Julian Meekins, Glenn Waterfield, they've made their first big sidecar final. So the result then of race number 41. The win for number 48, Rod Winterburn, Liam Brown. Second number 25, Colin Blackburn, Carl Pugh. And third, number 24, Robbie Wils Rob Wilson, Terry Saunters. 42, 99, 311. Final race of the day, the John Underwood final. Unfortunately, John Underwood Sr. is not here to present his trophy. He has been taken ill. We do have the trophy here. 110, 23, 21. 122, 10, 17, 111, 5, 32, 143, 246, 261. His nephew is here to present the trophy. I've just been reliably informed. So please don't rush away. Watch for the presentation. It's only 4.30. We have done very well to get the racing through so quickly, bearing in mind those couple of nasty accidents. So this is the final race, the John Underwood Trophy final for the upright class. Steve Dorr two wins and one second. Wayne Barrett two wins and one 
second. They can well be the ones to watch. It is a straight final. Scott Ryan's been in the thick of the action all the afternoon, as has Graham Brown and Tom Meekins. But I think all eyes will be on number 23 and number 110. They've produced some cracking races so far, so it's all going to be on this upright final engine to get the the rest away they go they all rear at the start in fact but it's uh, Wayne Barrett has got the drop of the star back to the crystal Steve Rawls away in second place Graham Brown has got the third Barrett leads going in that top corner Dora has got the second Brown in third Riley runs in fourth place up to top four and Steve Dawes has got a lot to do to get to Wayne Barrett from that position as Barrett leads going into that pitch corner on that number one Steve Dawes trying all he knows and when he's fine he's really fine Brown has got the second Ryan in third, Meekins in four, Rose in five, Scalding six, Barley in seven, and the top two are getting away, but Steve Dorr is not closing the gap on Wayne Barrett now as he hit that pitch corner on lap number two. Barrett leads when Dorr in second, Brown's consolidation at third place position. Both wheels off the ground now, but Steve Dorr trying to close the gap on Barrett, but Barrett leads into that top corner once again. Dorr's got the second, Brown in third, Ryan in four, Meekins in five, Mount in six, Ryan in seven, Grom in eight, that's a top eight as Wayne Barrett into that pitch corner for the third time in the John Underwood Trophy final. Steve Dawes not proposing the gap at all on Wayne Barrett. Barrett leads him on the four. Dawes using every inch of track in second place. Brown is on the third. Ryan is in four. Meek is in five. These five are a long way clear of a terrific run track in the remaining places as Wayne Barrett leads him into the pitch corner for the final time in the John Underwood Trophy final. It's going to be Wayne Barrett to win the John Underwood Trophy final. Second place goes to Steve Dorr. Third place is Graham Brown. Four is Scott Ryan. Five Tom Meekins. Then the gaggle of Ryan is going for the remaining places. Andy Gorm is in next. Then two men. Then Bally Lorna. Then Lee Barley. Arnie Fenner. And I think Mike Scarling is going to be the last rider across the line. Yes, he is. So the start was so crucial. Wayne Barrett just got the drop on Steve Dorr out of the game and try as hard as Steve could, and that was really trying. He could not get to Wayne Barrett. I'm sure they'll come round on a lap of honour because, of course, this is what this meeting is all about, this uh, John Underwood Trophy final. So show your appreciation. Wayne Barrett and Steve Dorr just discussing exactly what went right or went, what went wrong in the, in the final. So show your appreciation. Cracking up right final. Wayne Barrett, I say, just got the drop and he really made it came there. Steve was trying all he knew but couldn't get to him. This could be interesting when they meet in the upright British Championship. Wayne Barrett leads him round and deserved winner this afternoon. Scott Ryan, Steve Dorr, Graham Brown, Tom Meekins, Arnie Fenner, Lee Barley, Tim Mount and Barry Liner. All riders of entertainers rawly this afternoon and, in the, and also in that final race of the day. So the result then of the final race of the day, a win for number 23, Wayne Barrett. Second number 110, Steve Dorr. And third number 122, Graham Brown. 21, 10, 17, 261, 246, 5, 32, and 1. Four, three. That is the final action for today, the last race of the day. Please stop for the presentations. It will be taking place uh, outside the PA box in a few moments. Congratulate the Fenlands Club, not only on the superb day's racing today, but also the brilliant meeting we had yesterday with the youth. And the it's great to see a meeting get through without the problem of rain or dust. That's I think a round of applause for all the Fenlands Club members who have done a fantastic job over the last two days. And please don't forget to come back and support them on the 31st of August for the British Youth Championship and on the next day, the 1st of September, there's a top class adult meeting as well. Right, top four then, starting off with the uh, 250 solos. We hope we've got the lads down here. In fourth place, Ricky Scarborough. But if he doesn't know he's got a comb, he doesn't. He, 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 I don't know. What's Lewis or uh, the other one? In second place, Ashley Hill. Is that 
Third place, sorry, after the hill. Third place, after the hill. He's cool. He's got his letters. He can put his letters on. Third. That's better. We'll just get the first four. Four. Third. Second place in the 250s. Trevor Curry coach. Where is he? Trevor Curry coach for second place. 250 solos. Change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Are you going on the And the winner of the 250 solo superb on big performance, Harlan Cook. Put his own camera on the New deals, please. Tell him to look at the other one. We're right, mate. We have to go small. Okay. In the deep, actually. Look at me. Hang on. And this way, guys. Brilliant. It's very honest, but I know you've had a few words. It's very busy and very successful afternoon this afternoon. Yeah, we've been working hard to do that. We've been asking hard for it. Not really after the air for the 250. What was the reason for the air for the 250? Yeah, just to make sure it's still going alright and right there. Uh, and we'll see you in the 250 win at Thank you. But we move on to the 350s. In fourth place, Lawrence Barber. I've got there, everyone. Nice to go. Don't put him on the car. Just up at this road. Hi Lauren, uh, welcome. Well, you don't need, you don't need him, do you? Yeah, I can't, you don't need him, I don't need him. Fourth place in Lawrence Farmer, off the top three. Good to see you back racing with us. Third place, Michael Faulkner. And the runner up in the 350s again, good to see him back. He's been missing for a while. He still shows as a top competitor. Second place, Andrew Whittaker. <laughs> and the winner of the 350s, a stylish performance from a very stylish rider. Four winning lines. Andrew made him work for it in the last one. We'll ask him about that when he comes up. Ladies and gentlemen, we didn't race too much these days, still a top rider. Richard Smith! Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick little Richard. Richard, you don't race too much these days, but to the with the performance today. Yeah, yeah, the bike's going well. Uh, track is good. Um, let's see, let's see my style, so, uh, as you say, Andy, had a good race in the last one, but all in all, I was happy with the day. Mr. Stark, in the last one, was up to try the bike, or did you genuinely miss the start? Well, no, um, the, the, the hand just didn't go in the last race, so, uh, yeah, uh, and it's good, what a ride, and, um, you know, just got up the inside of him and I know you're not going to be racing too much this year, just been a few racing ready for that uh, British Championship and then do you want yeah, the to tell us about the end of the season or do you prefer not to say? No, I mean, uh, I'm just looking forward to that. 
championship in July, so got through the next week uh, championship, and then uh, unfortunately we won last uh, season this year, so just thanks to all the family club for all over the years, but sort of uh, on, and it's been good. Thank you. Richard Smith, you're you. Thank you. On down to the 500 solos. Fourth place, Jason Lewis. Absolutely fantastic performer, but I don't anybody could believe it when he came out to start in life that last race after losing at the start. Not only did he come out, not only did he race, he raced equally as hard as he had been all the afternoon. Superb third place, Danny Boyle! In second place, the young man who entertains us wrongly all the time, sometimes for the wrong reasons. I know he was delighted with his second place today, showing consistency does count. Aaron Pease! I can glue it back on for next time. Mate, I can't believe this. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. And the winner of the 500 solos, who third double this afternoon, Aaron Cook! I'm moving towards the palace. Small Johnny, for up. Moving in the middle. Moving. Have fun. Come on, we'll put her on there. Aaron. Good morning. Come on, come on. I'm going to find my fat. Thank you. Okay. We're at home, we're going on with Danny, I think. You okay, Alan? Okay. Danny. I think everybody was amazed when you came out. You took the ambulance for about, for about an hour. Mm -hmm. And you came out and you rode exactly as if nothing had happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. Not right. Not that bad. What happened actually at the start? Just a bit too much grip and couldn't get down quickly enough, or what exactly happened? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm fine. And, uh, and, uh, Fantastic racing with you, Harland and uh, Adam Thurman, and Shane happened over there, but that, those, some of those races were absolutely top draw, high speed, passing and repassing throughout the race, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. It wasn't easy. You know, it's not easy. It's Ladies and gentlemen, super performers there for Danny Ball third place. Next call. 500 side cut. Well, yeah, because third place. Which way did the driver? 500 side cars in first place. Natasha Barker and Ricky Payne. No, no, Natasha, it's the driver. The Tasha Mark, the Ricky Pay, third place, 500 sidecars. I don't know. Well done. So she got near the pallet. Runners up in the 500 sidecars. Dan Barrett and Mark Hopkins. Young boys come to attention. I have to be talking to you. I felt terrible after what you did on the stuff. I'm going that well way, but you see, just a quick snap, yeah? <laughs> well he's, the, um, he's the driver, so he's got to go that side. Yeah, yeah, you've got the directions this side. And the winners of the 500 side cars this afternoon, superb on the performance, Josh Goodwin, Liam Bryan! He's the driver, we've got a turf on. And she's the driver.
Well done. 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 Third place goes to Martin Cuff and Steve North. Really? Oh my God, Charlie. I'll oh, just back to Liz Martin and Liz Steve. <laughs> yes, well I done. I should have been a lot of people. Runners up in this class, Erwin Alex Bowman. And then the other side of the team. Good, lean off the side. And the other side. Well done, well done. Which one well 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 I'd just like to say to the Fenland Club and everybody here, on behalf of the left handers, thank you very much for being proud of us. I hope you've entertained you and uh, look forward to coming again. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. We did have somebody come down. Just a minute, gentlemen. We did have somebody come down to Carlin on behalf of that. Thank you very much. The club has been delighted to have them forward to see you back again on the 1st of September. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, very successful to you. I think you were aware in that last race that second place was enough for you, wasn't it? Track to your liking? Yeah, We don't see too much enough in this neck of the woods, but it's good to see a different track in the grass track world, isn't it? Thank you very much indeed, congratulations, thank you. Quite then, 1,000cc sidecar, some absolutely fabulous racing again this afternoon, as it always is. In fourth place, always in the thick of the action, Robbie Wilson and Bradley Shear. Oh, oh, the next generation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In third place, he'll be delighted with this this afternoon. For those of you that don't go everywhere, he blew an engine at High Easter. He shredded two back tyres at Wayne Fleet. He blew an engine at Midshires last week. He's had a dreadful start to the season. He'll be delighted with his third place. Rob Wilson, Terry Saunders! Woo! Well done. Okay, thank you. Well done. Thank you. Okay, Rob. Runner up, my word, if you really make a start these days, drove extremely hard well this afternoon. Call him back forward and call you! Thank you. And the winners of the 1,000cc sidecar this afternoon, they won all their heats, they won the final as well. Tremendous performance. Rob Winterburn, Liam Brown. They should know, shouldn't they? Mervyn Price, come forward, please. Mervyn Price, come forward, please. Mervyn Forrest, can you come forward please? Thank you. Okay. Rob, 
before published any glycine. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just to mess it around with Gabra, we're doing a little bit of long work, uh, but it's coming up nicely. And a busy weekend next weekend with Frittenden on Sunday, on Monday. Always, yeah. Doubling up again next weekend, Liam? Uh, just a thousand on Sunday, both on Monday. Were you sweating in that last two to five hundred days? Anything happened to you? You were waiting to go back over your race, weren't you? I was just, yeah, I was just thinking, three balls off that now, I'm going to Ladies and gentlemen, a thousand CC side car winners. What with the Burnley and Brown? Thank you very much. The Merlin Sunlight, come forward, please. Merlin Sunlight, come forward, please. Ladies and gentlemen, those who don't know, this gentleman was a real expert of the grass and his fine in this neck of the woods. This is Merlin Price, who raced with a great deal of success in the grass vaccine, particularly on the 250s many years ago. He is going to present this John of the Wood trophy for us for the uh, off white clothes solos. We go father and son, one of the best pairs many years ago, we just said. So, that the whole of your career? Oh, most definitely. Mervyn, you must have fond memories of this area. If you race for a bit in this area in your prime, didn't you? Yeah, a lot of good friends there, four of us, yeah. 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 In third place, Graham Brown. <laughs> Runner up in the upright, still one of the most thrilling sights on the grass vaccine, Steve Gore. Thank you. And the winner of the John Underwood Trophy, this superb trophy, plus the check as well. Fabulous performance. He's beat the six in one of the heats. He beat him in the final as well. No arguing about his success this afternoon. One of the top exponents of this upright class, John Underwood winner, 2013. Wayne Barrett! Wayne, fabulous days racing, two great battles for Steve, wasn't it? 
Yeah, we've had some good battles over uh, this season and uh, last season. And uh, yeah, love riding with him, it's great fun. You just made the start in the final, that was crucial, wasn't it? Well, I struggled a bit all day for the start. We had a bit of a dodgy clutch and um, to get an oil on the clutch plate, so we saw it for the final and uh, yeah, it paid off, yeah. Were you aware he was trying everything you knew behind you? Could you keep looking back? I looked back once or twice and thought, I haven't shook him off yet, so I was half expecting um, to be there any second, but I was pleased for the win. This up white class has produced some fabulous race and obviously the, the weather stays with us. We're looking forward to again a brilliant up white final that will be later on in the season. Yeah, I mean it should have been a good meeting last year, but obviously the weather spoiled it. But um, yeah, I mean all the time the um, upright class is getting stronger and stronger and uh, I think it's only good for the sport. Thank you very much indeed. You joined the winner, 2013 Wayne Barrett. Thank you. I'm going to have on his own. Right, okay. Where do you want him? Okay, mate. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah, I'll see you, man. Thank you, man. That's that. On behalf of the chairman, the health secretary, would you put your hands together for the track staff who have worked tirelessly since the middle of January getting this fantastic tra track ready for you today. They're still working, they're pulling down. So put your hands together please for the track staff and all the helpers who have put this together for us this weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Ryan. Don't forget to push the ball club, 31st of August, British Youth Championship. The next day we've got an all-star entry in the dog class, plus some of the youth wards as well. Thank you very much. Have a safe journey home. Don't forget Frippenden next Sunday, Beauty next Monday. Thank you. Still coming under pressure for Lewis Scarborough. Lewis Scarborough goes through on the inside and moving to fourth place. Ashley Hill again back round the outside. Here it goes. He's got third. Ashley Hill and Nelson shoulder to shoulder for fourth and fifth. Lewis there goes Wayne Barrett winding on round the outside of that pitch. Kind of gets round Barney to go through in second. Comes alongside Graham Brown. But there goes Steve Dorr giving a big hand for round the outside of that top corner. Ryan on the inside. Steve Dorr comes alongside him as they go up the back straight for the first time. It's Ryan who leads his bike up on door now as they move into that pitch corner. Ryan holding the inside door again, full throttle around the outside of that pit score now. It's Boyle who leads, but here comes Cook with a big move through on the inside, roars inside Danny Ball to lead going into that pit score of Boyle up return the compliment by coming back through on the inside. It's Boyle who the shoulder to shoulder, Phil using every inch of track into tremendous race to the front, Danny Ball on the inside, Holland Cook again going right round the outside. Oh, then Colin Blackburn almost gets through on the inch of Robbie Wilson, these two locked together, going down the back straight, super ride there by Colin Blackburn, it's gone through on the inch of Robbie Wilson, Phil has gone wide ball, takes him on the side, one almost gets thrown in, but then Phil does get through this side, ball leads him, then Phil in second, comes in third, leads him four, Phil makes a mistake and Phil has gone back to on the inside, these two locked together, going up the back straight with Phil on the inside, ball again, making a move around the outside, now ball cuts it back for the inside, one to come back inside, Phil who has gone wide and ball leads him and Phil in second, it's all Wanna squeeze through on the inside Ridley gets to inside Ridley to go through the second place for me Harry Coates in third, Scarborough in fourth, Ashley Hill and Jack Nelson scrapping it out for fifth and sixth place and Nelson makes a move round the outside, Hill again comes back up the inside to retake that fifth and again Colin Blackburn fighting it for the inter, Robbie Wilson super race for second and third, Colin Blackburn's got through on the inside, Robbie Wilson back round the outside, Colin Blackburn comes again to retake that second place for the Coming on the complete the opening lap there, Wayne Barrett and Lee Jeffers, Graham Brown in second, Steve Dawes got a word for this, Tony Carter round the outside, Graham Brown at the moment, Barrett leads up and Doors have gone through in a second. Four leads in five. French in six and one to lead in two. Oh, film has gone down in a big way. Oh, Natasha Bartlett. Oh, she just about controlled it. No red flag. Riding up them to the fourth leg of it. Oh, again we go Ronnie down at the start. Whitaker two bikes up on Smith going into that pitch corner. Whitaker goes wide. Smith, Whitaker's one again. Smith takes a title on the inside of Richard Smith goes through on the inside. Whitaker again squeaks back round the outside as they go into the 
pitch corner once again. Whitaker on the outside, Smith on the inside, locked together now. Smith just takes the advantage again, with Whitaker again, back way on the outside, going into that top corner once again. Smith takes lead on the inside, Whitaker again, sweeps back way on the outside. These two locked together for first and second, going up the back straight once again. Smith here comes Colin Blackbone with a big move right round the outside. Windyman on the inside, Blackbone round the outside. Rob Wilson goes wide of course, that Colin Blackbone going for the inside. Blackbone gets some on the inside. Away they go, they all rear at the start, in fact, but it's uh, Wayne Barrett has got the drop at the start, back to the big move, Steve Rawls away in second place, Graham Brown has got the third, Dora has got the second, Brown in third, Ryan runs in fourth place, as Wayne Barrett leads him into the pits corner for the final time in the John Underwood Trophy final, it's going to be Wayne Barrett that wins it, John Underwood Trophy final, second place goes to Steve.